Hey guys, what's going on? I am I Love Gaming 908 and today I am going to be doing a tutorial on how to install and use software Bandicam. Now Bandicam is a software that I use to record my Minecraft videos and other videos that I well just haven't uploaded yet, I guess. Um now what Bandicam is is it's a software that allows you to record absolutely anything you want on your PC or computer. So hopefully what I'm going to accomplish in this video is show you how to install it, what to do when you install it and hopefully I can help you get started on YouTube or just whatever site you have an account on. So yeah. So what you want to do first, this is how to install. So you want to, well I've got Google Chrome and that Oh, I don't understand that. Anyway, what you want to do is go to www.bandycam.com. Oh, Enter that. Yeah, so that should take you onto this screen. Now, you don't want home, you want to download it. So click on download. And then scroll down. You might not need to. But what you want to do is you want to go onto brothersoft.com. I, I don't trust I don't trust um, softonic.com because I then tried to download something off of that before and it didn't work. So go on to brothersoft.com because that works really really well. So yeah, I'm not going to obviously download it because I've already got it. But anyway, so what about that? Now when you download that, you should come up with an icon down here. Now if you double click on that. come up with this screen. Now what you want to do on this well, should I it'll actually come up with that one first. But that was just me being a dud. Uh, anyway, so what you want to do is you want to first you want to click on these three dots, click on them, and then scroll down and you can decide what um, thing you want to do on or what where you want to place your videos. Now I've got one called unfinished vids but you know so I can edit them and everything before I post them onto YouTube and then I'll have my finished videos and YouTube videos and that but that's that's not really something you need to know about this tutorial so that's all you really need to do on your home screen so what you want to do is go into video and this is basically um, the main one that we're going to be um, talking about so what you want to do is you get to decide whatever whatever key you want which will record and stop that will be one key and pause will be another key your videos now I've just got plus and minus because it's the easiest one for me and it doesn't like interact with anything that I might be doing I used to have it F11 and F12 but F11 was also my capture and full screen thing but I'll talk about them later. Now you're on here you also have an option to hide your mouse cursor during the video. Now mine is actually just spazzing out a bit so yeah that's a bit weird but what you want to do is if you want to hide your mouse cursor then just simply click on that and then you know exit out and then or if you're just going to do another video just go straight onto it so yeah, uh, so that's all you really need to do on that one. Actually no, actually no it's not because you need to click on settings. Now make sure you are, this is for audio. So yeah, this is what this is what you want if you want audio. Now make sure that the box is ticked for record sound. Now primary sound device, now this, um, say you're doing Minecraft, uh, this primary sound device is what will record the sound of like your cows and things and maybe like the battle and creeper hisses and things you know yeah. so just do that whatever you want but that's just my inbuilt speakers yeah it is yeah I was just, just double checking there because I wasn't sure but anyway and then your secondary sound device will be your microphone etc etc now I've just got my built-in mic because my other mic is getting repaired at the moment 
So yeah, I should be getting that back soon. Now, it, you can also like choose your own microphone if you've got one plugged in or a Bluetooth one, you know, which would be quite handy to do. Now, what you want to do is, if you want, I want these both to be together because I like to do a running commentary on my videos. So basically, I click on this two sound mixing, primary and secondary, into one audio track. Now that is what you want to do. You want to click that if you are going to be doing a running commentary of your videos. If not, and you only want to do some speaking, like just maybe bits and bobs out in different parts of your uh, of your video, then you can go on to only record secondary advice while pushing and then select the button. Any button you want. So I'm just going to keep that as it is because otherwise it's not going to work. Oops, don't want that to happen. Now, next you go into image. Now, capture. Now, this this mainly is for the free version, which is what I've got. And it only actually allows you to record 10 minutes of video, which I think is like, quite bad. But I guess it's kind of okay if you're only going to be doing like short videos of different subjects. But if you want to start doing like longer ones, the capture hotkey is what you might need to use. Now, my ha capture hotkey, actually, I'm going to change that to F12 because F11 is a full screen. So, yeah. Basically, what the capture hotkey will do is if you've ran out your 10 minutes, and then it comes up with like a little sign message, uh, you would just need to click on that and then press your capture hotkey, and then that will restart right where you left off. Not on the same video. But it will be a different video, but it's still good because it, you won't like be wandering about thinking, oh god, uh, I'll need to do another video on top of that, intro and everything, but no, no, it's fine. You know, then you've also got the hide mouse cursor, um, mouse, uh, hide mouse cursor, <laughs> my words are getting jumbled up here. And you want to make sure that it is on JPG high quality and format. So yeah, you can also like buy it online, but I'm not going to because my videos are usually quite short anyway, so I just need that. So go down. Now, what also you have is this. Now this will tell you how long you've been recording for, and it's also got a thing where you can manually stop recording, pause recording, image capture. You can also hide it, make sure it's always on top, make sure the size of, of um, the bar is what you want, you can also exit Bandicam there, but obviously I'm not going to do that. Then, I'm just going to, I'll leave these two alone because I have absolutely no idea what they do. I haven't even experimented or anything yet. I will get in touch with you guys if I know what happens when you use them. So, yeah, I just leave them alone now. So, yeah, that also gets like the select, size select menu. So, I've got it full screen because I need it full screen. For my videos whereas if you're just going to be recording say like a small part that like you're going to show okay I'm going to show this part of my screen like to make it more bold then that's what you can do you can make it that and then like drag it down and things but I, I just use it full screen because that's what I'm meant to do so yeah I guess that's all I really need to say about Bandicam so yeah, oh actually no, I nearly forgot. Uh, say you were, so if you start recording and then press the same button as if you were going to stop, that will be one video. It will not be a separate video. So if you start, so then if you press that again it would be a separate video. And then you can also like pause in game and that. But, uh, yeah I guess that's that. Anyway, so yeah I hope you guys, I hope you guys found this video helpful to you. And I hope you do well in the future. So don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. So until I do another tutorial or another video, just in general, I'll see you guys later. Bye.